Dr. Dan Gaudi, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, Center for Distance Education, Shivaji University, Kolapur. Today I will discuss the cyclic extensions. Definition of cyclic extension. Let A, E be a galaxy's extensions of E. Then E is called a cyclic extensions of E. If G of E by F is a cyclic group. G of E by F is a cyclic group. For example, if W is a primitive fifth root of unity and the splitting field of x is to p minus 1 over q is q of w is equal to e, say that e is the galaxy's extensions of q, that is g of q of v or w by q is isomorphic to zp star and zp star is a cyclic group of order p minus 1 therefore q of w is a cyclic extension of q lemma let f be a field of non-zero characteristic p then for every positive integer k the mapping phi k or uh, summation k of f into itself defined by phi k of x is equal to x is to p raised to k uh, for all element x of f is an embedding of f into itself the mapping phi 1 of x is equal to x is to p uh, is called the Frobenius endomorphism proof consider a map phi k from f to f defined by phi k of x is equal to x is to p is to k for all x belongs to f the we have to prove that phi k is well defined let x y belongs to f so that x is equal to y and x is to p is to k is equal to y is to p is to k therefore phi k of x is equal to phi k of y Hence, phi k is well defined. Now we have to prove that phi k is injective. Suppose phi k of x is equal to phi k of y. x is to p raised to k is equal to y is to p raised to k. Therefore, x is to p raised to k minus y is to p raised to k is equal to 0. x minus y is to p k raised to k is equal to 0. Characteristic of your is equal to p is not equal to 0 therefore x minus y is equal to 0 f is a field uh, hence integral domain and x is equal to y therefore phi k is injective therefore phi k is an embedding of f into itself for every positive integer k lemma let your e be your finite extensions of f suppose f from g by g of e by f to a star a star is equal to e minus singleton 0 has a property that f of sigma eta is equal to sigma f of eta f of sigma f of eta multiply f of sigma sigma into f of eta into f of sigma for all sigma eta belongs to G is equal to G of E by F. Then there exists alpha belongs to a star such so that F of sigma is equal to sigma of alpha inverse e into alpha for all sigma belongs to G. The mapping E of is the hypothesis of the lemma is called a crossed homomorphism. Proof for all eta belongs to G, above eta belongs to a star, above n is not equal to 0. 
f of beta is not equal to 0 thus if summation of f of eta eta of b is equal to 0 for all b belongs to eta then by the k dead kind proper lemma f of eta is equal to 0 which is not true hence there exists b belongs to each star such that alpha is equal to summation of f of beta eta of beta b is not equal to 0 then for any sigma belongs to g we get summation of sigma f of beta into sigma of beta of b is equal to sigma of alpha then by using sigma of f of beta is equal to uh, f of sigma inverse into f of sigma eta we get summation of f of sigma inverse into f of sigma eta into e sigma eta of b is equal to sigma of alpha but sigma eta so that eta belongs to g uh, eta belongs to g uh, hence f of sigma inverse is equal to 1 to f of eta into eta of b is equal to sigma of alpha therefore f of sigma inverse into alpha is equal to sigma of alpha therefore alpha into sigma of alpha inverse is equal to f of sigma for all sigma belongs to g hence the proof next lemma let e be a finite extension of f and let g is equal to g of e by f be a cyclic group of order n generated by sigma if we if w belongs to e such that w sigma of w into sigma square of w dot 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 sigma raised to n minus 1 of w is equal to 1 then there exists alpha belongs to each star such that w is equal to sigma of alpha into alpha inverse true by lemma uh, we need to find define f from g to e star such that f of sigma is equal to w or some sigma belongs to g and f is a cross homomorphism define f from g to e star as follows f of id is equal to 1 f of sigma is equal to w and f of sigma raised to i is equal to sigma raised to g minus 1 of w dot 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 sigma of w into w uh, claim that we have to prove that f is a cross homomorphism f of sigma eta is equal to sigma f of eta into f of sigma sigma raised to i sigma raised to g belongs to g and if i is plus j is equal to 0 modulus of n then f of sigma raised to i into sigma raised to j is equal to f of sigma raised to i plus j is equal to f of sigma raised to n is equal to f of i d is equal to 1 also uh, sigma raised to i into f of sigma raised to j into f of sigma raised to i is equal to sigma raised to i into sigma raised to j minus 1 of w sigma of w w into sigma raised to j minus 1 of w dot 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 sigma raised to w w is equal to f of sigma raised to n is equal to 1 if i plus j is not equal to 0 modulus of n then f of sigma raised to i sigma raised to j is equal to f of sigma raised to i plus j is equal to f of sigma raised to i uh, sigma raised to r minus 1 of w is equal to sigma raised to r minus 2 of w dot 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 i plus j is equal to qn plus r uh, where and your r less than n or is not equal to 0 well, now we consider sigma raised to i f of sigma raised to and f is a cross uh, cross homomorphism 
देर फॉर यूजिंग द नेम आर देर एग्जिस्ट आर फाइव नाउ स्टेज स्टार सर्च दैट अबाउट सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बाई फाइव मस इन टू अल्फा देर फॉर डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बाई फाइव मस इन टू अल्फा हेंस द 